MJ Rodriguez is one of the stars of the hit series Pose, which tells the story of black and brown trans women surviving the AIDS crisis and serving in New York's ballroom scene. Well, a house is the family you get to choose. I'm a house mother. The show made history for having the largest cast of trans talent in lead recurring roles. And Rodriguez quickly became one of Hollywood's most visible leading black trans women. Please welcome MJ Rodriguez. MJ Rodriguez. MJ Rodriguez, everybody. MJ Rodriguez! <laughs> but despite the visibility, not a single trans actress from Pose has been nominated for an Emmy or a Golden Globe. I feel like the glass ceiling has been cracked. It hasn't broken. I feel like, you know how like when you throw a rock up at the glass and it makes a hole, but the whole thing hasn't shattered and fallen to the ground yet. I feel like that's where we're at. There's women that are all beautiful shades of brown on the television screen. And two years ago, let alone 10 years ago, we never even saw that. We were always playing, you know, prostitutes or playing the drag queens, and now we have separated ourselves, and now the T within the LGBT is finally being seen as a whole in its own right. And it, it, it's unfortunate that trans women are at the lowest of the totem pole because other people don't see us as women, which I'm guessing one of the reasons why we're not put up for anything else except for trans women. I address everything with patience. Some people don't think that's the right way. They love to fight. Do it, boo. Just know what's at stake. The Human Rights Campaign has been tracking the deaths of trans people since 2015. And 2020 has been the deadliest year on record. 33 trans or gender non-conforming people have been violently killed, and most of them are women of color. That number is likely higher due to misgendering by police. I knew I was a part of Black Lives Matter. I just, when I started seeing things after the movement that were happening, when I started seeing more deaths of Black trans women happening while the Black Lives Matter movement was going on, my mind was like, what's the purpose? Like, we're fighting together for a cause that incorporates all of us, and some of us are trans within the Black movement. Why are we dying still? What's the reasoning for it? None of us are out here trying to have an agenda to separate ourselves from the Black Lives Matter movement. We're trying to let individuals know that there are people who are African-American within the Black Lives Matter movement who are part of the LGBTQAI community and we stand alongside you. But how are we supposed to stand alongside you when you're doing something as similar to systemic racism? How, how can we do that? That just defeats the purpose. And we still do it, we still fight. We still stand next to our black brothers who get beat up out in the streets for no apparent reason, but will come home and beat the crap out of us. We still stand behind them. I could have a whole husband, three kids, a roof over my head, but still walk out the street. And if you know my tea, I will get, I will get beat up. Why? The call for Black trans women's inclusion in the Black Lives Matter movement mirrors the demands of women in the 1970s. Like Sylvia Rivera, an activist referred to as the Rosa Parks of the modern trans movement. I have lost my apartment for gay liberation, and you all treat me this way. I'm a girl who is of the trans experience. Like, I'm in the space to speak. And it makes me feel like my voice is not heard just as much as these girls whose lives, are whose voices were taken away from them. It's disappointing. And it always just reverts back to that question, why? Validation in me is seeing the numbers, seeing the percentages, seeing the statistics, seeing the changes every time we get a chance to, whether it be in Hollywood or whether it be in the Black Lives Matter movement, whether it be in the worldly movement, environmental movement, whatever. 
if I can watch Gen Z, them see me and just come up and be like, we saw our Auntie MJ, you know, because I'm young, I don't want to be called my daughter, and you know I'll do that on the show. But <laughs> I saw Auntie MJ, I saw my sister MJ up there and she's doing her thing. And now I'm the head of a school. I'm Now I'm a principal and now I'm, I've implemented LGBTQAI rights up in the school. If I can do that with at least a million people, I'm good. <laughs>